These fifth graders are lined up to welcome two special guests to their elementary school in honor of Earth Week. I start off by saying good morning, First Lady Murphy. Good morning, Commissioner McKay. Welcome to the Georgia Cantonment School where we are committed to making green the way to learn, play, and live. The K through fifth school opened about four years ago with a strong focus on green education. One stop on our tour was a classroom where students learn all about saving energy by testing temperature and lighting. Hmm. So 73.9, what does that tell you? What's that tell us? The 73.9 energy is being used in the hallway. Okay. Is that good or bad? <laughs> good That's <job>. good. <laughs> <laughs> they help, help come up with ways for teachers to reduce the amount of energy being used, shutting down their computers at night, turning off laptops, unplugging things for the weekend. We're told these efforts help the school cut energy consumption by 40% and cut utility costs by $20,000 in the 2015-2016 fiscal year. Students we ran into in the hallway told us they take those same lessons home. Every time like, like we finish using the room or like the bathroom, I tell my parents to turn the lights off so we don't use too much energy. In 2017, the school was awarded a green ribbon by the U.S. Department of Education for efforts like tracking energy consumption. Also for doing things like using bottle filling stations throughout the building, eliminating the usage of plastic straws, and creating their own garden. In the cafeteria, you could see the kids were eating what they planted. We built a greenhouse. In fact, it's a greenhouse made of 1,500 recycled bottles. Well, I would see somebody watching this is that to go help the environment because like, we could be in great danger by littering. Our second and third graders went on a beach cleanup last spring and again in fall. Was it fun too? Yeah, it's good. In a question and answer, the elementary students asked some tough questions about cleaning our shores. They also asked what the state is doing for clean energy and if there was any progress on getting rid of plastic bags in New Jersey. The first lady did hint she was in talks. The first lady said these students give her hope for the future. And the acting commissioner joked she's waiting for them to apply to work at the DEP. In Long Branch, Leia Mishkin, NJTV News.